Smart Draw tutorial for beginners how to use a Smart Draw. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll take a look at this platform which provides us the opportunity to create different whiteboards, diagrams, interact with data. So I'll share my own experience of how can we use it. Basically, there are a lot of options. We can interact with a Smart Draw. Of course, we can try to use it for free. They also have their paid plans. We'll discover them a little bit later. And here on their website, you can find a lot of variants of how can we interact with this uh, platform, basically. So we can visualize data, create other things like charts, space plans and so on. So they also have a lot of integrations inside. Uh, let's basically try to create our account. So we just simply need to click on start now right up here or launch app. And after that, you'll be able to create an account with our Gmail. After that, we'll come to this page where we have a couple of options. But firstly, let's decide how can we navigate here. So in the left side, we have this menu where we have home documents, integrations, import favorites and new document. So from home, we can interact with every single part. It's like our workspace. We can find the recent templates here, recent documents. So it could be really helpful to navigate between. But if we want to find all the documents, we can just simply open this uh, folder here. And as you can see, I currently have no documents. We can also add a storage from this page here. On the integration page, we can find all the apps we can interact with inside of Smart Draw. For example, here on the apps, we have Confluence, Jira, Microsoft Teams, Google Workspace and Trello. It's pretty cool. If you have some other platforms you are working with, you can integrate information from these platforms. We also have like visualizers, Azure, organization chart and so on. So if you want, you can just simply add all the information inside of Smart Draw. So on the import page, we have the option to add uh, something inside of Smart Draw. And on the favorites, uh, this is the place where you can find your marked uh, whiteboards. Basically, if you mark them, if you don't want to lose them, if you have a lot of uh, like whiteboards shared with you or created by you, you can easily navigate from favorites. So in order to create a new document, you can go to templates. We can click on all templates from the home page. And after that, uh, discover a lot of different templates provided by a smart draw. As a beginning, I definitely recommend you to start with one of these templates. So in this case, you it will be easy as for you to understand in which way you can interact with Smart Draw. So let's say that we want to create some infographics. I'm going to click on this button here. And as you can see, we can find more detailed templates here, like pyramid, block, some other ways of how to interact with information inside. And let's say that I want to use uh, this template here, like timeline infographic, let's click on it, open as an example. And basically, uh, after that, our document will be automatically created. And now we can interact with template itself. So here we have our editor. And it could be a little bit hard to understand what does it means. But let's get started. Firstly, in the top of the screen, we have this panel where we have file, home, design, page, table options and support. On the file page, we have a couple of options, create new, open file, save file, print it, and uh, interact with some other options. On the home page, we can manage all the properties. So we can export, paste, insert, manage different styles, themes, line styles, effects, and so on. Also, we can interact with the text inside and do some other things. On the design page, we can also interact with our design, change the text spacing, text alignment, bullets in general, and so on. So in order to uh, make it like enabled, we need to select some elements, for example, this text here. As you can see, now we can change connection points, grow properties, and so on. It could be really easy to understand as for you if you'll just simply try it by yourself. So I definitely recommend you to use uh, smart draw, uh, for example, with this template, and then just simply discover or all, all by yourself. On the page area, we can interact with background, 
orientation, margins, layers, workspace, center in workspace, and so on. So depending on your aims, you can manage the background color. So you can change some general things here, basically. On the table area, uh, you won't be able to interact with some stuff. We can insert tables here and uh, delete or remove. On the options things, you can just simply do some other things. So in general, that's all about navigation. Also, we have this left side menu where we can basically enable or disable something. And here we can add different symbols, uh, shapes, lines, text and so on. And it's definitely uh, really easy now to understand how does it work. On the plus icon, we can add different templates here, whiteboard blueprint, data visualizers and so on. So that's all about navigation and now it's on you of how how can we use this thing. So basically, as you can see, we have this template. All we need to do now is just simply change uh, what's inside. So I'm going to click on it, for example, I can select, I can now write something and add my information. So when everything is done now, we can just simply click on share in the right top. And uh, basically, you'll need to buy smart draw before you can print share on export. So this is the next thing we need to discuss in order to interact with the files, like print them, or do something else. We need to buy paid plans. So let's click on buy to discover what plans do we have. And as you can see, we only have a one plan, which is like smart draw. And mm, mm, it's like 9.99.95 per month built annually. See the wall discount and side license. Let's open their pricing plans uh, from the main page. Let's go to pricing. And as you can see, we now have two plans. So single user 995 or multiple users for three plus users from 8.25 uh, per month built annually. So in this case, if you are just a solo guy, you can buy this plan. If it's like multiple, uh, you now need to use 8.25 dollars per month. And as you can see, it's not that convenient in order if you want to try to use it for free, it could be really helpful if you don't want to like share or print so you can use it. But uh, if you want to uh, like share this file or do some other things, you definitely need to buy a paid plan. So it could be not that good uh, as for the beginner or people who want to share this stuff. So that's all about SmartDraw. Hope this video helped you out. Leave a like, subscribe. Goodbye.